Hey guys, welcome to our next definition-based video. These are all definitions that you need to know so you can pass your real estate licensing exam. We'll get right into it here. This video is based on the definition of what an acre is. And it's a very simple definition, but something that you're gonna to have to memorize because you're gonna have test questions about this on your exam. You wanna make sure you get them right. If you memorize them, you will get them right. So the measurement really is what you need to memorize. Now let's take a look at the legal definition of what is an acre. An acre is a two-dimensional measure of land equaling 43,560 square feet. You have to memorize that. 43,560 square feet. Stick it in your brain. What's an easy way to memorize it? Well, let's go to 7-Eleven, pick up some donuts. What does that mean? Four plus three equals seven. Five plus six equals 11. The zero at the end, well, that's your donut. And as you can tell, I love donuts. So let's go to 7-Eleven, get some donuts. How many square feet in an acre? 43,560. Memorize it. Easy questions to answer correctly on your exam if you've got it down. Now, a similar definition, very similar, just slightly different, acreage. Let's take a look at this legal definition. Land use typically containing more than one acre or a large parcel of land. Okay, so an acre is, by definition, what, how many square feet? 43,560. If we have a piece of land that's bigger than that, we refer to it as acreage, more than one acre. Very simple. Now we have these, what we refer to here at Past Masters as key facts. These are things that have been on the exam in the form of a question and what you needed to know in order to get that question correct. So let's take a look at a key fact as it relates to an acre or acreage. Under the government survey system, rectangular survey system or geodetic survey system, there are 640 acres in a section of land. There are also 640 acres in a square mile of land. Okay, so that's a lot of information there and maybe something we haven't been exposed to yet. But when you are filling out legal documents, you have to get the legal description of the property. All right, you have to provide that on the legal document. In other words, we need to know where the property is located, right? So there are these formats or ways that legally land can be described. And the government survey system is one of them. The government survey system is also known as the geodetic survey system or the rectangular survey system. So there's a number of different names for it. And what we're doing with the government survey system is we're using these lines. So imagine the globe, we've got a ball and we're gonna slice it up. Or even easier, we've got a pizza and we're gonna slice that up. But we're not gonna cut the pizza normally, right? We're gonna cut the pizza with lines that go north and south and also east and west. So we're gonna create little boxes. And that's how we're gonna carve up the land. So what do you need to know about this for your exam? Well, you need to know what it is, how it works, and also you need to know how many acres are in a section of land. So this term section relates to the government survey system. A section of land is a piece of land that is carved up into 640 acres. Test question answer, for your exam. Now, another thing that's mentioned here, there are also 640 acres in a square mile of land. Hmm, okay, a square mile of land, so we're a perfect square, right? But how many feet are in a mile? Goodness, you just learned how many square feet are in an acre, now you gotta know how many feet are in a mile? Yes, you do, 5,280. Okay, so if we've got a square piece of land, we take the square feet, 5,280 times 5,280, and we come up with how many? 27,878,400 square feet in that piece of land. Now, if we take that and we divide that by how many square feet in an acre? 43,560, we get 640 acres. So a 640 acre piece of property that's square is exactly one square mile. So you got, you know, the northern boundary is one mile, southern, eastern, western, it's all one mile. 5,280 feet in one mile. So as you can see, this gets confusing, but these are things you have to memorize and understand conceptually for your exam. Because you're not gonna have a whole bunch of math questions, but those you do, 
generally are fairly easy, such as we're going to take a look here at a practice exam question very similar to one that's been on the real estate licensing exam. So again, a must know. A parcel of land that measures 750 feet by 400 feet would contain approximately how many acres? All right, so here we need to figure out how many square feet are in this piece of land, right? How many square feet? And what do we do? We multiply the first number by the second number given. So we take 750, multiply that by 400, and we come up with, in this piece of land, there are 300,000 square feet. Now, if we want to figure out how many acres are in that number, we've got to divide that by how many square feet are in an acre, which is what? 43,560. If we divide 300,000 by that number, then we're going to come up with a number very close to the correct answer in this question, 6.89. It's really more like 6.88 and then it continues on if you do it with your calculator. And sometimes this is the way these math questions work for the exam. But you're going to have an answer, such as answer B to this question, that is just rounded up very slightly. As you can see, none of the other answers are anywhere close to the correct answer to this question. So, in this video, you learned what an acre is. You learned how many square feet are in an acre. You must know. You learn how many acres are in a section of land under the government survey system. Again, another must know, 640, right? You learned that in one square mile of land, also, there's 640 acres. You also learned how many feet were in a mile, 5,280. So you just learned a lot in this short little definition-based video, and you should be able to apply it all. Hopefully you get questions about it on your test, because those will be the easy ones. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in our next video.